True Confessions of a Professional Organizer. Hey, do you find yourself being a lot less organized in your home than you want to be? You have clutter here, there, maybe everywhere, and it's getting the better of you. It seems to be winning the battle. I was there once. In my early 20s, first house, I had more room than I probably needed. In fact, there was a whole room that really wasn't devoted to anything except sort of a, a loose office area. And I am telling you the truth, it became a junk room. Not a junk drawer, not a junk closet, a junk room. It got to the point where there wasn't room on the desk to put anything, so paperwork, it fell on the floor. And pretty soon, this room is just crowded. It was awful. In fact, the door was always closed. It was embarrassing. And like you are doing in your home, I let it go. It was getting bigger and bigger. It was too much. Well, moving day came eventually, and so one of the best ways to get rid of stuff is to have company or to move. And so in our case, it was moving, and I had to get rid of the stuff. So what did I do? Well, I did not go in and do it all at once. It was too much. It was too overwhelming, and that's probably the case for most of you. Don't let that worry you. Just get started. What I did in that room is exactly what you can do, whether it be a drawer, a closet, or a room, if you have junked up a room like I did. This was more of an office area, so what I did is I went and I had a lot of paperwork to deal with. And I'll be honest, that is the most time-consuming thing to deal with, more so than clothes or even kitchen stuff. I sorted things in loose piles. If it was financial, it went in a pile. If it was medical, it went in a pile. Education, a pile. Very, very broad categories. Then I went in and I took one pile, let's say it's financial, and I sorted that into subcategories. So, because there's a lot in financial, I sorted, separated taxes, I separated banking stuff, I separated investment, I separated insurance. Then I went through and I took each of those little sub piles and I started going through and like, do I even need this? And it is amazing when you junk up a room for a couple years, how much you do not need. <laughs> so I got rid of a lot of stuff. The things that I kept were things that I couldn't easily access online or I was going to need because they were related to the house or something like that. Once again, very, very, very little was kept. And because I was doing little piles, I could actually get through them really fast. So it was encouraging and I was making progress. I would be lying if I told you I remembered exactly how long it took to do that room, but I believe it was about four evenings. It wasn't really all that long. The fact that I had put it off for months and months, and let's be honest, it was years. Really, I didn't need to. It was so much easier to do when I divided things into little bits, little pieces, and worked at it consistently. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. I'm Margaret. I'm a virtual organizer. I've been doing this for 20 years professionally. I wasn't doing it professionally at the time that, that, that I developed my junk room, but I have been for 20 years, and I have helped so many people declutter from stuff and stress. I do it all over the U.S. because I do it virtually, and that works really well because it's not a course. We are working hand in hand. We're on Zoom calls. I'm available between calls to help you figure out what is the best way for you to work, how fast, how slow, where to start, how to work with the people in your household. Very, very personalized. And so if you've got a junk room, junk drawer, junk closet, whatever you have that you've been dreading, don't do that anymore. Go ahead and start. If you don't know where, give me a call. Hit me up in the link in my bio.